Hello everyone, this is Love Queen Tarot and I am here to do a reading. I am here to do an after dark reading. This after dark is for um divine feminine versus the karmic. Um so my after dark reading hours is from 7 p.m. to 5 a.m. the next day. And I go by Eastern Standard Time. So if you guys go by a different time zone, you can apply the timing however you see fit. So again, this is for Divine Feminine versus the Karmic. Keep in mind that Divine Feminine's reading energy could also resonate with the Divine Masculine, a man, if he's if and when he's in his feminine energy. And that's if and when the energy or the reading manifests. So keep that in mind as well. Also, the karmic man may not be your karmic. The karmic could be a male or a female. So I'm doing the reading. The spread a little bit different after our hours tonight. So um, keep in mind that the reading, it may or may not resonate with you. Some parts of the reading might resonate. Other parts of the reading might not. As well, keep in mind that time it is fluid. So this reading can manifest after our hours tonight. It can manifest later on down the line of time. Or this present reading could be past energy for you. If this present reading is past energy for you, then there might be answers or closure for you in this present reading that pertains to your past situation or circumstance. So, I'm going to go ahead and do your angel number. Divine Feminine, I'm going to put your angel number and I'm going to put one for the karmic. All right. What's the divine feminist angel number for after our hours tonight? What's the divine feminist angel number? All right. So we have number 16. It's coming out sideways, divine feminine. Um, You could be having a hard time with this energy because it's coming out sideways. Or this could be divine timing. I am percep perceptive. So divine feminine, you're having a hard time being perceptive. Or you're sideways because of divine timing. It's either one or the other. Or it could be different scenarios. It could be two separate groups of divine feminines. So it say you have an inquisitive mind that allows you to uncover important truths. So divine feminine, you could be um, trying to figure out or, or search for some type of important truth. And maybe after dark hours tonight is not the time for you to know this truth. Or divine feminine, you having a hard time figuring something out. You have a special ability to read into other people's feelings. A wisdom seeker in your angels acts. A wisdom seeker in your angels acts to share your knowledge for the benefit of others. So divine feminine, I heard for some of y'all, y'all know a truth, but after dark hours tonight is not the right time to share some type of knowledge. Yeah. So, Divine Feminine, you're having a hard time being perceptive or after dark hours tonight is not the right timing for you to be perceptive. It's like you know a truth, but um, after dark hours tonight is not the right time to share some type of truth or to express something. What's the karmic angel number for after dark hours tonight? Yep, the karmic coming out sideways too. Number 33, a master number. The karmic is expanding. So the karmic could be having the karmic could be having it's the same thing for the karmic. The karmic could be having a hard time expanding, or the karmic is not expanding because of divine timing. So any any positive changes or projects you are considering right now will be well worth your while. I'm also hearing the karmic needs to double think something. The karmic needs to think twice about something. Or the karmic need to hold off on making some type of positive changes or something to do with a project the karmic was working on. Expect that your power to manifest and create will be heightened. <clears throat> so the karmic's power to manifest and create after our hours tonight, it might get stuck. It might get stuck. Something might get stuck or delayed for the karmic. Something the karmic was trying to manifest. So, I'm going to pull, Divine Feminine, I'm going to pull your overall energy. 
What's the Divine Feminine's overall energy after dark hours tonight? We have spiritual strength. So some type of spiritual strength, Divine Feminine, for you. Where, where the book at? I'm going to read it. If I can find it. The book. All right, I can't find the the um the book that go with that deck. So, but anyway, the right you got spiritual strength. And if I'm not mistaken, I think that's the strength card. I think um Leo. All right, so no, that's not strength. Um, this is, this could be, um, the nine of wands. So divine feminine, you could be the wounded warrior after the hours tonight, or you refuse to give up, or you have a made up mind about something. So spiritual strength. I heard you're standing in your power or divine feminine. I also heard this could be you being humble or meek, some type of meekness, M E E K N E S S meekness, nine of wands, standing your ground about something all right so so we got the hard font we got Taurus. something going on with the second house too divine feminine pertaining to your energy or divine feminine you could be a Taurus or dealing with a Taurus. so we got the hard font that's Taurus. the moon that's cancer the Ace of Wands, Fire, the Page of Cups, Water, the Empress, Nine of Cups, Water, Queen of Cups, Water, Five of Swords, Air, Justice, Libra, Nine of Wands, there you go, Divine Feminine, Nine of Wands. Or Divine Feminine, maybe you know something that somebody could be trying to get you to talk or tell on yourself or sabotage something. Or somebody want to know somebody wants to know your secret or something like that. But right, I think after the hours tonight is not the right time. I heard it's not the right time to argue with this person. <clears throat> so Divine Feminine, I see in the cards, you know some type of hidden truth. Um, divine feminine, somebody could be mistaking your wisdom for, um, fear. So divine feminine, you're protecting some type of knowledge. Yeah. So this is what I said. Some type of meekness. It's like divine feminine, you're being high vibrational. To, you're being high vibrational to keep secrets. It was a smart decision for you to keep something a secret or keep something to yourself. Or Divine Feminine, you could be pregnant and you're not telling, you're not saying nothing. Or you're not going to tell the wrong person or the wrong people. The moon could also be conception. Or Divine Feminine, you know intuitively you're pregnant. Somebody could also know intuitively they pregnant. Divine Feminine, you probably also know that a baby, uh, this could be your child, Divine Feminine, or somebody else's child, or this is your pregnancy or somebody else's pregnancy. Divine Feminine, you know intuitively that somebody don't know who their child's father is. Or Divine Feminine, you know that somebody could be pregnant by somebody they're not supposed to be pregnant by. And Divine Feminine, you know something intuitively. Or Divine Feminine, you know a secret or you, or you know something. And you're not saying anything. And Divine Feminine, you know it's best that way. You you will get your desired outcome by being high vibrational. 
or you're going to figure out some type of truth while you're in prayer or meditation or some type of spiritual practice you do divine feminine um you're going to get answers that way the higher front with the nine of cups so you're going to get um you're going to find out some type of truth in a high vib high vibrational way and this could be through prayer and meditation or something like that. Divine Feminine, you love someone or you know this person loves you or something. Divine Feminine, somebody could have started a passionate new beginning with someone to spite you. Or somebody has intercourse with someone to spite you or something. Or Divine Feminist, somebody um, probably, this could be a lover. It's like Divine Feminine, you know this lover didn't marry you for love. They married you for competition. Or somebody just married you to prove a point or something like that. <clears throat> or divine feminine you doing something for a reason so this is you keeping secrets or something to do with a pregnancy and divine feminine you got a made up mind or you know something about somebody and this person can't convince you no other way. And Divine Feminine, you saying to yourself, you going to fold before I fold. Because I'm not lying. I know what I'm talking about. Like something like that could be going on. So Divine Feminine, I don't know if you could be pregnant. I mean, you could be married. And you know that your husband or your spouse got somebody else pregnant or if it's if this is for divine masculine it's like divine masculine you know your wife the baby might not be yours or something like that but somebody is waiting for something to like unfold naturally divine feminine you're waiting for some for something to be to be revealed naturally something you already know or you're waiting to the perfect the divine timing to say something so somebody could also be married. And somebody's spouse could have stepped out on them. All together, we got 10 cups. So something going on with family or um a, a marriage, that 10 of cups. So divine feminine, you dealing with a family member, a family member, a family member could also be somebody you have kids by, or you dealing with a spouse. Yeah. It's a divine feminine, you have an inquisitive mind that allows you to uncover important truths. You have a special ability to read into other people's feelings. A wisdom seeker in your angel. And your angels ask you to share your knowledge for the benefit of others. So, Divine Feminine, your angel number being 16 and it's coming out sideways. I think your angels um, is aware that you know something or your angels reveal some type of wisdom to you. And they're telling you after dark hours tonight is not the right time to um, reveal something. Or speak or say what you, say what's on your mind or something like that. Yeah. Divine Feminine, somebody could have married you for the wrong reasons or somebody got you pregnant for the wrong reasons. Well, I don't know if somebody in your family messed around with your spouse or this could be incest. Um, Divine Feminine, you know intuitively that some family members of yours be sleeping around or something like that. Something going on with the moon.
And Divine Feminine, it's best that you keep something a secret or just be quiet about something after our hours tonight. Or you're going to be in a high, very high vibrational position. This could be you meditating in prayer, the higher form. And you're going to get your wish fulfillment. You're going to find something out that way. It's like the higher font is going to bring you wish fulfillment. Or Divine Feminine, you have a decision to make in the near future. And you know marriage is the right thing to do. So Divine Feminine, say like you have a choice in love. And you have one lover that is willing to marry you and the other lover don't want marriage. But Divine Feminine, in the present, you prefer the lover that don't want marriage. And it's like Divine Feminine, you could be trying to figure out when to tell this man that you're breaking up with him. Because you're, go you're going with the lover that, um, prefer that wants to marry you, that's willing to marry you. So Divine Feminine, you could be planning like a breakup or to give somebody bad news. Because you know the higher fine is wish fulfillment for you. And this could be marriage. <clears throat> and divine feminine you know this person loves you or you love this person but you might have to break things off with somebody because they they're not giving you your wish fulfillment but somebody else is willing to give you your wish fulfillment Divine Feminine, you could have also had like an intuitive dream. And you know in the in the near future you're going to be pregnant. Or Divine Feminine, you know your lover that don't want to marry you. He got somebody pregnant or something. Or Divine Feminine, it's a man out here. Both of y'all could be pregnant or something like that. Or something. But it's like Divine Feminine, um, you the Empress. Or in the near future, Divine Feminine, you're going to make up your mind to um, choose to be the Empress. And you you already, it's like Divine Feminine, you already got a made up mind. You know what you know. You get, you're get you getting confirmation that you know, that you know, that you know. But you might not expose something until the near future. Yeah. Because somebody could have started a passionate new beginning to be petty or to prove a point. Or Divine Feminine, you know that this man that you're with, he don't want he don't he's he don't want marriage. He don't want to be married. And it's like Divine Feminine, you know this man could be very egotistical. He don't love you. It's like he don't care about you. It's like it's kind of like all about him. And he it's like he's with you out of competition or something like that. It's like Divine Feminine, you know somebody like got into a relationship with you to like waste your time. This man did something from a from a place of ego. Or Divine Feminine, you know your lover got somebody pregnant and they gonna regret it. Because Divine Feminine, you, you gonna leave this lover. It's like Divine Feminine, you're not arguing. You're not arguing. You're not crying. It's like Divine Feminine, you know what you got to do, and very soon, in the near future, you're going to do it. You the higher font. You're not crying. You probably not even heartbroken, Divine Feminine. You could just be done. Like, the you're done. Yeah, something like that. <sighs> so, we got New Year. Something significant about this holiday. So, the right feminine, you might be married by New Year's next year. Or you might be married by New Year's um, January 1st of 2024 or March the 20th, 2024. Or the right feminine, the, this guy that's willing to marry you, you and him could have had a conversation on New Year's. So y'all had a conversation conversation January 1st, 2023 or March the 20th, 2023. 
So you already had a conversation with somebody, Divine Feminine, about the Hierophant. Or Divine Feminine, you got a revelation on New Year's, January 1st or March the 20th. You got some type of revelation, Divine Feminine. And you're sticking to your revelation. Whatever you whatever you know intuitively, you're sticking with that. It's like Divine Feminine, on New Year's, Spirit told you, if you do this, if you choose A, you gonna get so you gonna get X Y Z from from A. If you choose B, you gonna get X Y Z. If you choose B, so divine feminine, it's like you already know what you gotta do or something like that. It's like you already know. <clears throat> yeah. Then we have catfish. Yeah. So divine feminine, you could be dealing with secret enemies. Someone is not who they appear to be. Or divine feminine. You're not who you appear to be to this person. It's like divine feminine. Somebody was taking you for a fool. And it's like divine feminine. Somebody didn't know you was the higher font. Or somebody didn't know that you pray. Or you know how to meditate. Or you know how to get answers or revelations. Or somebody didn't know that you know how to unblock your chakras. Or whatever this is that you do high vibrational. Somebody didn't know that about you. Or Divine Feminine, the moon is you dealing with a secret enemy. Someone is not who they appear to be. Yeah. So Divine Feminine, you know you got to handle this person a certain type of way. Because they're not who they appear to be. So, Divine Feminine, you're going to get one up over... Matter of fact, Divine Feminine, you already got one up over this person because you 9 wine. But, Divine Feminine, this person don't know it yet. <laughs> yeah, it's like, Divine Feminine, you got to handle this situation and this person a certain type of way. Because it's like, Divine Feminine, this person don't know that you're aware of something. <laughs> so, you know this person catfishing you. So, you got to be the higher font around your secret enemy. Yeah. I heard, remember what I told you, Divine Feminine? So, Divine divine Feminine, the higher font is like, remember what I told you, Divine Feminine? Remember what I revealed to you? Yeah. It's like Divine Feminine Spirit is saying, Divine Feminine... I told you, I revealed to you who you dealing with. I told you who you was dealing with, who this person truly is. I revealed it to you through your crown chakra or through your third eye. I revealed it to you. Don't forget Divine Feminine. So Divine Feminine is like hold off from telling somebody something. You might have to wait a little bit, a little while longer Divine Feminine. Or let the situation play out. Maybe spirit don't want you saying nothing to this person. Or something like that. Jump into conclusions. You may be jumping to conclusions without all the information here. Divine Feminine, I think in the past, you started a passionate new beginning with someone. And um, they joined forces with you from, a, from the wrong motives. So this Ace of Wands could be sexual in nature. This could have been a love relationship. Or it could have been in work. Or just life. Some type of passionate new beginning. You started with this person. And Divine Feminine, this person was trying to fight with swords to you. Or this person was trying to prove a point to somebody else at your expense or something like that. Somebody was trying to do. So it's like Divine Feminine, before something was revealed to you, you was jumping to conclusions about why somebody um, started a passion new beginning with you. So Divine Feminine, you know this Ace of Wands was kind of like a mistake. You accepting this Ace of Wands from somebody, you know you was jumping to conclusions. And I heard Divine Feminine, this person didn't correct you. Of course they're not. Because they didn't want you to know the real reason why they um, offered you a passionate new beginning. So it's like Divine Feminine, you was jumping to conclusions. You had assumed something. And this person didn't tell you because they was deceiving you a little bit. And we have rumors. Yeah. There are rumors being spread. So Divine Feminine, this could be a situation where... A lover of yours reconciled with you or you got into a relationship with someone. But it's like Divine Feminine, this man was using you to like make his wife jealous or something like that. 
It's like divine feminine. If you ask this man, did you reconcile with me to make your wife jealous? It's like divine feminine. This man not gonna tell you the truth. The higher font had to reveal it to you. The higher font told you. So it's like divine feminine. You gotta make moves accordingly. Cause this person not gonna tell you the truth. This person is not who they appear to be, or something like that. <clears throat> so it's some type of rumors going on about the page of cups. So the page of cups could be somebody emotionally immature. This could be news of a pregnancy. Um, somebody apologizing to somebody. Yeah. So divine feminine, you could be hearing rumors that somebody got somebody pregnant or um somebody did something emotionally immature. Or divine feminine, you could be finding out that somebody reconciled with their spouse behind your back or something. So divine feminine, you're either married or this person is married. But they could have went back to their spouse. And you're he hearing rumors about it. Or divine feminine, you're pregnant. And people trying to figure out if you're really pregnant or something. Or Divine Feminine, you could be into tarot or something. You the Empress and people... Um, Divine Feminine, it's something that you do concerning the occult. You're the Empress. And people trying to figure out if it's true, but you won't tell them. It's like you won't confirm something. Or Divine Feminine, you pregnant and people want to know if you're really pregnant or something like that. Or Divine Feminine, I don't know if this man told you to get rid of this baby. And he got his family floating around, family and friends. He want to confirm to see if you got rid of the baby or not. But it's like Divine Feminine, you didn't. And you're not going to tell him that you didn't. Or something like that going on. So it's like divine feminine, you the empress, you pregnant, and maybe this guy wanted you to get rid of it or something. Or it's like divine feminine, you know intuitively that this guy wants you to get rid of it. So you might distance yourself from him, divine feminine. Or something like that. Divine feminine, you the empress. So this is something concerning like the occult or spirituality. Or like a pregnancy or something. And Divine Feminine, somebody could be around you trying to figure something out. They want to know if you're really the Empress. Yeah. Guarded. Very guarded and protective over heart. Yeah. So for some of y'all, y'all could be pregnant. And this man either told you to get rid of this baby. January, February, March, April. So Divine Feminine, you could be three months. Yeah, so Divine Feminine, this man could have told you to get rid of this baby. Or Divine Feminine, you intuitively know that this man don't want this baby or something like that. But you, it's like you're going to keep it or something like that. So Divine Feminine, you could have had a dream or something that this man was yelling. And it's like in the dream revealed to you, Divine Feminine, how this man truly felt about you telling him you're pregnant. Or something like that. This man could have been saying, get rid of it. I don't want that baby. Or something. Divine Feminine, you found out some type of truth uh, through uh, a high vibrational way. <laughs> In an intuitive way. So Divine Feminine, this is not like you was doing scrying mirrors and was doing dark magic to see how this man truly felt about you. This was revealed to you in a high vibrational way. So this, like I said, you could have been in prayer. You could have been meditating. You could have saw a vision. Or something like that. But Divine Feminine, you the Empress. You're very guarded and protective over your heart. And this could definitely be a, a fetus. Yeah. And Divine Feminine, this man or his family or something could be trying to get in touch with you. It's like Divine Feminine, you're not telling these, you're not giving this person or these people a yes or no about whatever this Empress energy is. It's like Divine Feminine, yeah. Because you know who you're dealing with, yeah. 
Yeah, so Divine Feminine, you, it was revealed to you that you was going the wrong way with a person, place, or thing. And now, Divine Feminine, you know what you got to do. You know what you got to do. You got your. You know what to do to get your wish fulfillment. Because it was revealed to you that you was going the wrong way. And it's like Divine Feminine, you're not too much mad. You're just happy to know the truth. And now you know that what you got to do next. You're not too much mad, Divine Feminine. You're actually happy that you know the truth. And you now you just know what you got to do next. But you're not going to allow this person to like cat like this person catfishing you. But it's like Divine Feminine, they're really not because you know something. And something could be getting confirmed to you, Divine Feminine. So you like, oh, okay, cool. All right. I just know what I got to do next. And Divine Feminine, you know not to believe this person. Then we got Christmas. Yeah, so New Year's. That could have been January 2023. Yeah, then something happened on Christmas. So Divine Feminine, it's like you could have got your first ultrasound on Christmas and you fell in love with your baby. It's like Divine Feminine, you may, you could have found out. Yeah, something happened on Christmas. So this could be you, you get like your first ultra, ultrasound or something. And that's when you made up your mind you're keeping your baby or something. So we got New Year's and Christmas. So it's like Divine Feminine, Christmas is December 25th. It's like you made up your mind about something or you wasn't sure. You made up your mind. It's like Divine Feminine, you could have made an emotional decision on Christmas. But on New Year's, the Most High confirmed your decision. So Divine Feminine, say like um, on the, in December, on Christmas, you made a decision. But after Christmas, Divine Feminine, you was like, I don't know if I should have made that decision because it, it was from a place of emotion. I'm not sure if that was the right decision because I was in my feelings. Or I just, did I make this decision because I love this person, place, or thing? It's like Divine Feminine, right after Christmas on New Year's, the Most High, the Higher Font revealed something to you. Yeah, and that's why you nine wands. You're not, a, you're not letting something go or you're not telling somebody something. Or you have a made up mind about something. Yeah. Or, Divine Feminine, you could have made an emotional decision on Christmas. And then on New Year's, the higher fonts could have told you, no, Divine Feminine, you're going the wrong way. So, Divine Feminine, you could have changed your mind about something and you sticking with it. Because the Most High already revealed to you you was going the wrong way. You should have made a head over heart decision, Divine Feminine, on Christmas instead of a emotional decision. So, it's like, Divine Feminine, after you made an emotional decision on Christmas... On New Year's, the Most High could have revealed to you that you need to change your mind. And Divine Feminine, that's what you did. And you sticking with it. So you made your de decision on Christmas. And the Most High backing, backing you up, confirming to you that your decision you made on Christmas was right. Or Divine Feminine, you made a decision from a place of emotion. And the Most High revealed to you that you needed to reverse something and change your mind and divine feminine you did change your mind and you're not you know and you sticking to it because the the most high told you you need to change your mind or something like that so the wife feminine this can also be um i'm gonna be quiet <laughs> yeah obsession someone is obsessed with you yeah so the wife feminine you could be aware that something is lust is not love or somebody is very egotistical. This person don't love you. It's like this person is um, doing something for the thrill. It's like something is not love. <clears throat> this person could just be obsessed with you. This could be sexually. Or something like that. Or divine feminine. It's like this man got a big ego. And it's not too much that he love you. It's just. He wanted to see if he can fight off the competition or something. He, it's like he wanted to do it for the hell of it. And now it's like Divine Feminine, this man got you in a relationship. But it's like he don't love you. He just, 
he just did it just to see if he could do it or something like that. It's like someone is obsessed with you. And it, but it's not love though. Yeah, evil eye. Someone is wishing it would tint on you. Yeah, Divine Feminine, you're going to do the right thing or the universe is going to do the right thing about somebody wishing ill intent on you. Or Divine Feminine, this man you're dealing with, this person you're dealing with, he could be married and his wife after you. Or Divine Feminine, this man's wife offended you and you know it was her. And Divine Feminine, you ain't changing your mind. You know it was her. So it's like Divine Feminine, maybe you don't let maybe the kids go see your child's father or something. Or something. Yeah, someone is wishing ill intent on you. So, Divine Feminine, you know this man, his wife could be after you or something. Or, yeah, or justice. Somebody could be married. Divine Feminine, you could be the third party. Or Divine Feminine, you marry and your husband's crazy third party after you. But it's like Divine Feminine, your husband trying to keep it a secret from you. But it's like Divine Feminine, you already know he got a crazy third party. Or something like that. And Divine Feminine, it's not time, it's not the time for you to like reveal this truth. Maybe spirit wants you to collect more evidence, or maybe spirit just gonna handle the situation without you even have to say nothing to like name one of them. Or spirit gonna handle the situation until like the um until like the danger is gone or something like that. Spirit could be telling you not to say nothing, let him handle it or something like that. So again, justice. So the right feminine, you gonna do the right thing. The universe gonna do the right thing. Or somebody married or something. Or somebody could be getting karma. I also heard Divine Feminine for some of y'all. You not telling somebody yay or nay. It's driving somebody crazy and that's their karma. Romantic thoughts. Having romantic thoughts about you. Yeah. So, Divine Feminine, you could be very defensive against an ex or a lover who wants to have sex with you. Divine Feminine, you don't want to have sex with this person. So, Divine Feminine, you could have been telling... It's like, Divine Feminine, you could have found out you was pregnant in December. And, Divine Feminine, you haven't had sex with this man since December. And you refuse. It's like, Divine Feminine, you're not having sex with this man. Because you know intuitively he married or he using you or he don't want the baby or something. It's like Divine Feminine, you're detaching yourself from this man. Even if you decide to keep the baby, you're detaching yourself from this man and you're not having sex with him. So you're very defensive about somebody having romantic thoughts of, um, of, about you. Or it's like Divine Feminine, it's like this man want to have sex with you. And he know, it's like this man don't care that his wife is threatening you. And Divine Feminine, you like, why would I have sex with you and your wife threatening me and you not even defending me? I'm not having sex with you. Or something. You like, nah, you, where your wife at? The one that was um threatening me. You better go call her, don't call me. Or something. Divine Feminine, you very guarded and protective over her. You the Empress. So Divine Feminine, you could already have kids and you're pregnant now. Or you have kids by this man and his wife after you or something. <laughs> or something. Yeah, so something like that going on. So the right feminine overall, the energy I'm picking up, the message is um, you know something to be true. And divine feminine, nine wands, you the wounded warrior, you have a made up mind. And it's like divine feminine, you know what to do, what not to do. You know what to do, divine feminine, and stick to it. Because something is not obvious, but divine feminine, something was revealed to you. 
And I heard it keeps you safe or something like that. Or it keeps, um, it's like Divine Feminine, you could be in the process of detaching yourself from your karmic lover. And Divine Feminine, you know if you go backwards to have sex with this man, it's like you're going to get back in that karmic cycle. So it's best to just like not even do it, don't even have sex with this guy or something like that. So Divine Feminine, this is your child's father, somebody you already have kids by, or you pregnant by this man's baby, like in the present. And you could be three months or something like that. Whew. Or Divine Feminine, you could be further along than three months. But you could have told him or revealed to him you was pregnant three months ago. But you could be a little bit further than that. Or something. So let's see what's going on with the car mate. So what's going on with the karma after dark hours tonight? What's the karma's overall energy? Discontent and boredom. So this is like equivalent to the four cups. The karmic feels rejected. So the karmic feels discontent and bored. It could be because divine feminine, you're making a wise decision. Or divine feminine, this karma probably know you're going to leave them and go be with your twin. It's like Divine Feminine, your karmic lover knows something and they can't take it back. And Divine Feminine, you know something. And eventually you're going to have harmony, but it's not going to be with your karmic lover. Yeah. Or Divine Feminine, you're making a wise decision after the hours tonight. And this could be within yourself. It's like Divine Feminine, you're not letting your, your karmic lover come to your house and his wife or his girlfriend always following him. you like, no, you ain't coming over here. Because every time you come over here, so-and-so follow you over here. So don't come. Or something like that. So Divine Feminine, the karmic is discontent and bored. Some type of boredom. And Divine Feminine, this karmic, this, this, this karmic energy could be y'all lover. It's like Divine Feminine, look at that rainbow. This karmic could already be married. And it's like divine feminine, you telling that karmic, go home. You you marry, go go home. And it's like divine feminine, this karmic don't want to go home. They want you. Or this karmic still trying to convince you they single when they not. It's like divine feminine, you telling this karmic, you already got your wish fulfillment. You got your marriage. Now leave me alone so I can go and get my wish fulfillment. All right, so the karmic is discontent and bored. The Ace of Pentacles, that's Earth, Death, Scorpio. Three of Pentacles, Earth. <coughs> the Three of Swords, Air, Chariot, Cancer. So this is the karmic's energy. So I heard something's going to end in the karmic's energy before it can even start. Or it's an ending to something. Well, divine feminine, your divine masculine done lost their mind. Divine feminine, for some of y'all, this karmic is the third party in your situation. You can be in union. And divine feminine, that rainbow could be your twin flame connection. And this karmic is getting booted out of your twin flame connection. So divine masculine, this could be for you too. This karmic could have been your divine feminine's ex or something. And y'all union is manifesting after the hours tonight on the near future. And it's like divine masculine, your divine feminine rejecting this karmic. 
Because that rainbow um, signifies a promise. I also heard, this is not a threat. This is a promise. <clears throat> so something like that going on with the karmic too. I heard this is not a threat. It's a promise. So the karmic thought somebody was playing with them or something. The karmic could have tried to call somebody bluff or something. Or something like that. <laughs> the karmic was trying to hold back information. Something going, some it's going, it's it's going to be an ending to something before something could even get off the ground. So I don't know if this karmic after dark I was tonight on the past was trying to do spell work, and it's not going to work. <laughs> or something is not what the karmic thought it was thought it would be it's like the karmic wanted this ace of pentacles but it was nothing but death or something like that it brought forth forth death or this ace of pentacles was supposed to be somebody else's and the karmic was trying to take it from somebody and put it in their energy like trying to manipulate the universe so this could definitely be um some type of spell work or dark magic it's like the most high or the universe was uh, supposed to give this pentacle to somebody else and the karmic was trying to take it. And the karmic was holding back information, keeping secrets. But it's like, Divine Feminine, you're going to find out anyway. <laughs> Something going to get broken up. It's like, because this is like the four pentacles. When you had the four pentacles together, that's somebody holding back information, keeping secrets. But it's like death is separating these two. So I'm picking up exposure or it's like divine feminine. You saw something or you picked something up intuitively because somebody was, there was a misstep like in divine feminine because of the misstep, you was able to get answers or get the truth because of a misstep. Because this four pentacles supposed to be together. And then this person would have been able to like hold back and keep secrets or somebody didn't do their spell work right. And divine feminine, you was able to you was able to see something. So divine feminine, say like somebody was trying to like deceive you, and they wanted to like um, block off your crown chakra or whatever, so you couldn't get downloads. It's like divine feminine, this person was trying to deceive you, but they didn't properly block your crown chakra, so you were still able to like get downloads or something like that somebody was trying to do something but it didn't work <laughs> so divine feminine somebody could have been trying to cause y'all heartbreak or this person is going to end up heartbroken i heard this person is successfully heartbroken <laughs> or divine feminine this person wanted to cause you heartbreak or divine masculine this could have been your competition in love Divine Masculine, this man wanted your Divine Feminine at all costs, but he didn't really love her. And he was planning on just, like, taking her from you for the competition for the hell of it. But it's like he was cheating on your Divine Feminine in the first place or something like that. Or he was going to mistreat your Divine Feminine on purpose once he got her or something like that. Somebody wanted to successfully cause heartbreak. But I heard this person is successfully heartbroken or something. Or this person is uh, playing backfired. It's like they wanted, the karmic wanted to cause somebody else heartbreak. But it's like, it's going to backfire. Divine Feminine, this karmic want to know what you know. Here go that truth right here, Divine Feminine. I was saying that you know. It got something to do with this Ace of Pentacles. So, Divine Feminine, I don't know if this karmic could be trying to figure out when your due date is. It's like, Divine Feminine, you could have also, like, already informed your doctors. You dealing with karmics, you dealing with haters. And, um, it's like, Divine Feminine, you could have told your doctors, if anybody call here, 
posing as me or anybody else. Don't give out my information or something like that. It's like divine feminine. Somebody was trying to get some type of truth that you know. Or divine feminine. Somebody was trying to steal your truth from you. Steal your victory from you. This karmic. But it's like divine feminine. You was kind of like 10 steps ahead of this person. <laughs> divine feminine. Somebody getting the truth from you. Or stealing your truth or something like that. Or taking your blessing. Something that belonged to you. This it, this is going to end after our hours tonight before it even get off of the ground. <laughs> this karmic, I'm hearing Divine Feminine, this karmic could have tried to befriend you after our hours tonight. But it's like Divine Feminine, you, you might tell the karmic, get away from me or no, I don't want company or I'm not coming into work. I don't want to talk about it. Divine from the discarment thought that they was going to be able to get close to you. But it's like you're going to like push the karmic away. You're going to full cup, cups the karmic. You're going to reject them. But they thought after the hours tonight was like the perfect opportunity to like. Whatever this was that they were planning on doing. But it's not going to work. Six of cups is water. Ace of swords is uh, air. The higher font. We got Taurus again. Something definitely going on with somebody's second house or a tourist or the second house. Then we got the food, that's Aries and Aquarius. Then the two of cups, water. So somebody could be a Cancer. Somebody could be an Aquarius. Somebody could be a tourist. So we got Taurus, Aquarius, and Cancer. And Scorpio. <clears throat> So this could be the karmic's birth chart. So it's like the karmic sun could be Scorpio. The karmic moon could be Taurus. Rising, the karmic rising could be an Aquarius. And then in Venus, the karmic could be Cancer and Venus or something like that. And Divine Feminine, you could be an earth sign with air in your chart or something. But it's like Divine Feminine, death is protecting you or something. Or it's like Divine Feminine, the karmic don't realize that being an enemy to you was actually going to work out in your favor. So Divine Feminine, if this karmic is a Scorpio, <laughs> this karmic don't realize they was actually like, it's like Divine Feminine, whatever this karmic was doing against you, it was actually working in your favor. <laughs> Or something like that. Or death is protecting you or something like that. Or death coming for the karmic or death coming. Ha this Something ending for the karmic is actually your protection. Yeah. So something ending for this karmic is divine feminine. It's for your protection. Because divine feminine, I think this is yours right here. These two aces. And the karmic wanted you to tell them your truth or... Or they wanted to steal your victory from you. Or they wanted some type of truth from you. Or something. Yeah. That's why the karmic energy is coming out sideways. And they say power to manifest and create will be heightened. But it's coming out sideways. So the karmic's power to manifest and create after dark hours tonight is not going to be heightened. It's actually going to fall. It's going to fail. <laughs> I heard the karmic going to be confused. Nothing's going to be heightened. There's going to be confusion. And there's death. Death is the author of confusion. So something going on. So this karmic going to be confused. <laughs> Divine from the after dark hours tonight. This karmic is confused about something. Alright, so... But yeah, black magic. Someone has been using dark magic. Divine feminine. Somebody was doing dark magic to get your ace of pentacles. Or to get you to to get you to make them the offer to give them the ace of pentacles. So divine feminine, this could have been somebody that wanted you to get divine feminine. Somebody wanted you to divine feminine. Somebody wanted to get you pregnant. Or somebody want to know your due date. Or Divine Feminine, somebody wants your child or something. Somebody wanted you to make them this offer that Ace of Pentacles, but it's actually yours. 
Like, Divine Feminine, this is your truth. That's your baby. So, Divine Feminine, I don't know if this karmic is your child's father, child's mother, or your other parent, new lover. And I don't know, Divine Feminine, if somebody wanted custody of your baby or something? Someone has been using dark magic to take this Ace of Pentacles from you. Or to get you to give them an offer. Angel numbers. You may be seeing a lot of number synchronicities at this time. Yeah. Yeah, this karmic going through it. This karmic it, um, might enter into a dark night of the soul. Or this karmic going to have a very bad night. This karmic is going to be looking and grasping for encouragement. Yeah, angel numbers. So the karmic is seeing a lot of number synchronicities at this time because they need it. Gratitude, show more gratitude. The karmic didn't know how to leave well, well enough alone in the past. So... The karmic might not be able to um, show more gratitude or it's too late. So the mind feminine, this could be the karmic showing gratitude to the, to their angels and ancestors or to you. Or this karmic was trying to conjure something up or something. Or the angels and the ancestors already told the karmic something in the past. And the karmic thought somebody's angels and ancestors was like playing around was a joke. And the karmic gonna try something after our hours tonight, and it's gonna fail. So it's like the car. This is like the karmic saying, "Oh no, 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 no! Wait, wait, wait! I change. No, no, I changed my mind, and it's gonna be too late." Yeah. So death is gonna put an ending to the karmic showing um gratitude, cause something like too late, or the karmic should have something. Yeah, something might be too late for this car, mate. Yes, the car mate was trying to call some call somebody bluff or something like that. Or the car, maybe the maybe somebody else's ancestor is going to rebuke the karmic, or the karmic's own ancestor is going to rebuke them. So say like in the past, somebody told the car mate, keep divine feminine and divine masculine name out your mouth. Keep their name out your mouth. This karmic was like, man, whatever. I do what I want to do. I do black magic. I say what I want to say. I do what I chant, what I want to chant. Divine Feminine, it's like after the hours tonight, this karmic going to try to do something, and it's not going to work. And this karmic going to be like, what? It's like the karmic not even going to get a chance. I don't know if the karmic was trying to conjure up their ancestor. And something going to happen. The karmic not going to be able to finish this conjuring session they got going on it's like the karmic not gonna be able to finish or something meant to be this relationship is magical is meant to be yeah so this karmic wanted to cause somebody heartbreak the karmic wanted to be the third will or be the third party or the karmic wanted to prove a point the karmic wanted to say i got your twin and somebody on the side like, I was able to get your twin, and I got somebody on the side. Yeah, the karmic wanted to prove that type of point or something like that. Or the karmic was hell bent on um, deceiving someone and making somebody think that y'all relationship was magic was meant to be. But it's like the whole time the karmic was like playing around. So, Divine Feminine, it's like the karmic not going to be able to convince you that your relationship is magical as meant to be. The karmic not going to be able to have a chance to do it. Astro travel. You may be having out-of-body experiences. So, this karmic might pass away. Or, Divine Feminine, this karmic wanted you or somebody else to pass away. But, it's going to come to an end. So, this is like equivalent to like somebody calling their lover or calling their ex. And say, oh, let's go out to eat. And it's like the it's like this person. This is like somebody killing their lover. But it's like this person was like, oh, come outside, let's go out to eat. And then it's like the person get in the car, and then it's like the karma killed a lover. 
But the karmic wanted to cause heartbreak by making somebody think the relationship is magical is meant to be. And then it's like the karmic wanted somebody to have out of body experiences. The karmic wanted a victory. The karmic wanted war. So this karmic also wanted to get kill somebody or get somebody killed. So Divine Feminine, for some of y'all, be careful if y'all pregnant by these karmics. And Divine Feminine, spirit already revealed, revealed to you this man don't want this baby. It's like either he told you, Divine Feminine, that he didn't want it or he straight up is like lying to you. And he wants you to think he accept the pregnancy. So when he get ready to do harm to you, it'll really catch you off guard. This man is very devious. Yeah. So divine feminine, for some of y'all, be careful. If spirit already reveals something to you, don't play with it. Because this man could be trying to cause you harm because he you pregnant and he don't want that baby. Yeah. Yeah, manifest. Your desires are within reach. Yep. <clears throat> yeah. Divine Feminine, you could have been trying to manifest a pregnancy. But Divine Feminine, I also see you're at the place where you don't really want this man. It's like the most high reveals something to you. And you like, okay, cool. I thought he loved me. He don't love me. But I'm still keeping my baby. So it's like Divine Feminine, this man thinking that you think... You're going to have this baby and you and him going to get married and y'all going to be a couple. And like Divine Feminine, this man is like, uh-uh, Divine Feminine not manifesting nothing at my expense. So it's like this man, yeah. Or Divine Feminine, somebody want to know your due date or something. Or somebody want to know something about you. But it's like Divine Feminine, when this person come in your energy or attempt to tap into your energy. So this karmic is trying to like spiritually tap into your energy to cause you harm or find out information or physically come in your energy to get some type of truth. So Divine Feminine, for some of y'all, this karmic want to know like your due date or something. But this karmic plan on like causing you harm. So it's like Divine Feminine, say like this man said, oh, Divine Feminine, get rid of it. And he already told you that on Christmas. And then Divine Feminine, this man call you out the blue after our hours tonight and say, let me take you out to eat. And then you get in a car with him. And he say, oh, so what's going on? Did you, did you handle that situation? It's like Divine Feminine, don't talk to this man about that. Really don't go nowhere with him or something. Because it's like somebody don't want your desires to be in reach or something. New line of study, researching the cult thing here. Yeah. yeah, somebody could have been trying to do a death ritual. So the right from this, somebody, the karmic could also be coming in your energy trying to see if their death ritual worked. The karmic want to know if you miscarried or something like that. Or the right from this, in the past, somebody already told this karmic to stop like doing dark magic on you. Somebody already told this karmic to stop. And it's like they're going to try to do it like after dark hours tonight and it's not going to work. And this karmic might actually be the one to pass away instead of you. Stuck in the past, yeah. Yeah. I'm hearing the most high didn't forget. The higher font is kind of like stuck in the past. And it's kind of like a good thing. Somebody being stuck in the past is a good thing. It's like somebody saying, didn't I tell you not to do this again? Somebody's stuck in the past. It's like somebody saying, I'm not moving. I'm staying right here. Or I meant what I said. I'm stuck in the past. I'm the higher font. So the right feminine, this higher font is you or like the most high or something. And this person is like, didn't I tell you not to do that no more? Or something. Purify your energy and aura. Yeah, divine feminine. This karmic wanted to cause you harm. Or it's like this karmic was planning on torturing you. 
until you did something their way, until you did something that they wanted you to do, or uh, this karma was planning on torturing you until you told them what they wanted to know or something. Yeah. Obsession. Yeah, someone is obsessed with you. So, Divine Feminine, for some of y'all, this karmic could be your competition in love. And this karmic is upset and wanted you to have an out-of-body out experience or wanted you to, to get an abortion. Because this lover is obsessed with you. Your ex is obsessed with you. And Divine Feminine, this karmic could be your ex's new lover or something. <laughs> so, Divine Feminine, for some of y'all, this karmic is like your competition in love. And I don't know if she was trying to befriend you. This karma could have been trying to befriend you, Divine Feminine. And Divine Feminine, you're going to say, mm-mm, no, no, no. Yeah. So, that's what's going on with, with this karma. This karma had a plan to offend somebody, deceive somebody after dark. I was tonight, and it's going to get stopped right dead in this track. If this karma was trying to do a death with you, it might backfire. So... Give me the scoop. Give me the scoop for the right from the energy. I meant to do this beforehand. Give me the scoop. I mean, not the scoop. Give me um some issues. What's the issue? All right. No, let me ask it like this. What issues do the karmic got with divine feminine? The karmic energy have with divine feminine? A daddy's girl. All right. So the right from the karmic. Don't like that you a daddy's girl. High expectations came out in reverse. So the right feminine, the karmic don't like that you're not meticulous. So the right feminine, maybe this karmic wanted to use you to get money from your father. Or something. It's like the right feminine, the karmic was like, the right feminine, say like this karmic is your current lover or your ex. And 